Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. So I am going to be pulling out palettes from this drawer and I'm going to put them into storage and I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see my thought process on what I want to keep out in my vanity versus what I don't want to keep out um, because I just don't need it all in the vanity and I have another one of these um, Alex 5 drawers in my closet so um, I want to narrow these two drawers down I want to have an empty drawer so I can put these you know like my facial sprays and stuff and beauty blenders and brushes in here um, so that I don't have anything out on my countertop I like my vanity to be very clean just having minimal on it and right now as it stands I don't have that space so I thought it would be interesting for you guys to see my thought process on what I put away versus what I keep out um, I don't throw things out because like this isn't stuff that I've received free it's all money that I have spent so um, I will just put them into storage where I can kind of shop my own stash every so often and that's just kind of what I'm gonna do I'm just not interested in really throwing anything else but you guys will just see my process on what I feel would be a great everyday palette to have out versus something that I'm gonna put into storage just because it's not something I'm gonna reach for all the time so don't mind my little I got these little tie things that's what that is anyway um, so here I go I'm gonna start with this color pop semi precious it's a beautiful shadow palette but it's um, all shimmers so I'm not going to reach for this all the time so I'm gonna put that one away um, right here these are Milani I reach for them all the time especially yes all three of these the bare necessities the earthy elements and the must-have naturals so these are something I would want to keep out because I reach for them all the time these are great full palettes so if you pull one out, you can make you can have a full look with just one palette, which is awesome. Um, this one here, though, this is a smoky ones, which I do not reach for a lot. In fact, I don't even know that I've even used this. That's how little I reach for it. But I do like this first matte color. That's really really nice. I'm gonna think about this one. Toss in the think abouts here. The Getting, putting in my, in storage there and the ones I'm keeping I'm going to toss over on this side. Alright, so this is an I, um, e.l.f. This is an e.l.f. palette. Um, it has colors here and then underneath it it has all these blushes. Um, I actually love e.l.f. blushes so I'm going to keep this out but I'm going to put the eyeshadows under and keep the blushes on top because those are what I reach for the most and I'm going to put it in a different drawer. Solar Flare, all of these really are going to get put away because I can't make complete looks with them because there's not matte shadows and they're very shimmery so when I want to pull out shimmer I'll just shop my stash and go and get these. These are not everyday type palettes so definitely belong in storage. Um, this Bronze Paradise palette from BH Cosmetics. Um, this is a really nice palette, but again, not something that I reach for every single day, so I'm going to put that into storage. Um, Carly Bible is staying out. This one is absolutely gorgeous, super simple to use, and you can create really nice everyday looks with that. Um, this one from, this is a Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen, it's still in its box. I don't know, when I get to like a a thousand subscribers I might do a giveaway and this one would be a great one to hang on to if it's not too long and it doesn't expire between that time but anyway it hasn't even been opened it's completely still in its packaging I'm gonna um, put it in my drawer possibly set aside for a giveaway down the road um, BH Cosmetics Studio Pro again they're all shimmers I'm gonna put it away same thing with Golden State of Mind. This palette, I still haven't figured out completely how I should apply these to my eyes because they are just so stinking shimmery. They're gorgeous, but um, very, very shimmery. I have to play with this because it's a beautiful palette, but there is um, a lot of that chunky, you can see it on my hand, all that chunky glitter. I don't know. 
I'm not sure about this one. And when I use a brush to apply them, it doesn't look good. So I think you have to use your finger. But I need to play around with that. Putting that one away. Wild and alluring. Again, shades that I don't reach for daily. So I'm going to put this one into the drawer. All of these um, primers here. Um, I've got this blurring one from Cover FX. Collab. The Professional I've used, so it's staying out. These two I have not used yet. Same with this one. So we're going to put them away. This one's still in a box. I'm going to put them away. I love this one. This is from Wet n Wild. I know it smells, but it works really well. This Bella Pierre has already been opened and been using it. I might get rid of it because I'm not sure that I even care about it. So we're going to put these away. Storage. This palette here from Makeup Revolution. Um, this palette is beautiful. I don't know if you guys have ever... Oh, and I thought it used to smell like chocolate, but I don't think it does anymore. Um, it's a really nice palette. I'm going to put it away, though, because I'm going to keep out my Too Faced um, chocolate palette. This one doesn't com isn't comparable to it like people think seem to think. This one, to me, is very different. Um... I, I'm not sure. It was one of them it was supposed to be similar to, but I don't find that it's a dupe. Um, but I think it's a beautiful palette, and I will I will definitely pull this out from time to time because I absolutely love that one. Uh, this e.l.f. one, I only use this for my girls for um, Halloween look, so that is going to get put away. This uh, Makeup Revolution. Oh, this one is a face palette, I believe. Eyeshadow and highlighter palette. I might put this in the face palettes because I think the highlight is gorgeous. Yeah, that's a gorgeous highlighter, and there's no chunky glitter in it, so I'm going to put that in my highlighter drawer. Okay, this is from Bub's Beauty. This one is beautiful. Um, you can create really nice looks with it, but I'm going to put it away because I have others that I prefer to grab for more. Same with these two Illuminate from BH Cosmetics. They're beautiful. Just I'm reaching for other things more than those, so um, they have to. I can't keep it all out in these drawers. It's too much. Wild Child. Um, ooh, this one's. This one I have to think about because I do really love that, and I do really love the. Um, oh, this one I'm not too sure about. These are face bronzers that I need to play with. They're going to go into a face. Drawer. My face drawers aren't completely full, but eyeshadow palettes are definitely full. Um, okay, Winky Lux. This palette I reach for often, so I'm going to keep this one out. I don't have too many that I'm keeping out, which is pretty cool. Wild Child, like I said. Um, gosh, there's some colors in here that I absolutely love. I might keep this one out. I'm going to think about it. Glam Metals from Crown, definitely more of a glittery type palette. Like maybe you just pull in a color here and there every so often. Um, not something that I reach for all the time, so we're definitely going to put that in the closet. Alright, these CoverGirl nudes, love them. They're staying out. All of these uh, Wet n Wild palettes I am going to put in the drawer. Because I don't just don't reach for them all the time. This is a pixie lip, so we're going to put that in a different drawer. This BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival. Um, oh, if you just heard that, that is not me passing gas. That is my dog. Um, I'm going to keep this out because this is really one of the only um, colored palettes that I'm going to keep out because I'm really, really loving this. It has excellent pigmentation. It's a fantastic palette, and I just got it recently, so definitely keeping that one out. God, I have one in here that's got some colors. This is Elf, um, the Mad for Matte, the second palette. I need to play with this, but I think that I'll keep it out because I do um, want to use it. I love matte shadows. i got to think about this one because I do have others that I might reach for more often. Um, this is an Empty Z palette. We'll put that away. This is a Morphe palette that's all shimmer. That is new, actually. I haven't even used it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to put it in the closet. I got all these from like the Five and Below store. They're supposed to be dupes for the Viseart palette. Um, 
I don't have the Viseart palette to compare to, but I think they're excellent shadows. But I'm not going to keep them out because I don't reach for them all the time. They're, they're kind of in line with these Wet n Wild ones. Wet n Wild is an excellent um, shadow. It's just that if I'm not pulling it out, I'm not going to keep it out. I've already start, dug into that, so it's got a. I need to use it. These are two new air spuns. Don't ask me why I have them out. I think they're new. Yes, this one is brand new. And this one appears to be used, but I don't think it was by me. That's kind of gross. Because Naturally Neutral is the one I reach for the most. And then this one is a translucent extra coverage, but I think I already have one of these that I've been using. So put these away. Maybe hang on to one of them for a giveaway. Um, this NYC Smooth Skin. I'm going to keep this out. That's really nice. Oh, I got spilled oil powder. Maybe. All right, this e.l.f. Um, this e.l.f. is a face palette. I need to decide if I even want to keep it, but it's going to go in the face palette. It's not out here. Okay, so we're getting somewhere here. This is um, all my, some MAC, um, what do you call it, MAC lippies. And I love them. They're my favorites. So we'll keep them out. Definitely keeping out the Carly Bible. Zodiac is going to go in the drawer because, again, the colors aren't daily wearable kind of things. And I have this Dose from my FabFitFun box. Um, I want to play around with this and see if I even like it. Because if I don't, I'm going to get rid of it. But um, I'm going to keep it out for now. Okay. Going in here. These are two uh, palettes, eyeshadow palettes from the Balm that I actually created and reach for all the time, so definitely keeping them out. That's one I created, and then here's the other. So one's kind of got more warm shadows, one's got more cool tones, so definitely keeping those out. I've got a couple of Morphe palettes here. Um, I've got the 25A for Copper Spice, and then Bronze Mocha 25B. I'm gonna put them in my closet for now. All right. And then I've got these unique palettes. We're going to put those away as well into the closet. So we're getting, we're doing really, really good here. So out of all of them that I'm keeping, I've only got these and these. So we're doing really good. Whoops, Milani, flying everywhere. Um, so let's... Let's get into this mess. These, like I said, I needed a drawer for brushes. So these are Morphe brushes. I've got the, this is from the Jaclyn Hill set. And then I also have the Bretman set. I absolutely love Morphe brushes. They're my favorite. Um, okay. This is a palette I'm keeping out. This is my actual graveyard palette. You can see I dig into this all the time. Love this. Gonna keep it out. Favorite of mine. These are all favorites as well. These are all uh, my, from the Balm. Um, I'm going to keep out this Shan XO, reach for it all the time. This is the remix um, I know I'm gonna, that I know I'm going to love because it has the same nine colors, and these ones I reach for all the time. Also love this Pixie one. Actually, this drawer has the ones that I reach for all the time. My, okay, this is an empty box. What, why is it in there? Maybe so I would remember what it was. Okay, now that confuses me because I have two sponges. Okay, so the blending sponge, the smaller one, is going to be the one that was here. This was just a, a from Target, and then this is going to be a Sonia Kashuk. I have two more Sonia Kashuks. I'm going to put those in my closet. This blending sponge, I don't even think I really care for it, but I think I kept the box because I wanted to know what brand it was. I, I don't know. This is meh. It might go into a, um, I don't like sponge. Okay, so this is a Real Technique sponge. Love them, but you see it's kind of chewed up here, so that's why I started using Sonia Kashuk, and I'm really enjoying it, but this thing swells up huge. So, um, anyways, these need to be washed. I'm going to put them aside. All these face sprays. Okay, so um, I want to use this one up. I love my MAC Fix Plus, and I have this NYX. Another one that I've been loving is this ColourPop Amber. So I might just keep out those four 
and, oh, I have to keep out Makeup Rebel. I use that one all the time as well. And then Morphe, this one is almost gone, so I use that one as well. But Cover Up X needs to go in the closet. This rose water, this actually shouldn't even be in this drawer. It should be with my face stuff because I use it almost daily. And this one can go in the closet because I'm not a big fan of it. I might even get rid of it. So we're going to do that. Um, like I said, these are going to be all the pails that I love. Love my tartlets. Love these two. I love all my Too Faced. I'm going to keep all those out. It's okay though because we're still going to, it's all going to fit. Alright, here we go where there's some that I can remove. Lorac I can take out. Don't use it all the time. This is a um, very cool toned palette, which I just don't reach for. Um, this Tarte palette, really, really nice. Love the blush. We're going to keep that one out. Okay, I've got a Mally palette never reach for and these two pure cosmetics buff and nude never reach for put those away okay this is my cat bondi uh duh we're keeping these out keeping out superhero and we're keeping out these two so let me get these organized and then i will be back okay guys so just to let you know my thoughts on these palettes that i put aside for maybes um, for starters, this Milani Smoky Eye, I'm going to put it away because I realize I already have my Brulee Single shallow, Shadow out, and that's really what I would reach for this palette for is this first shade because I don't wear blues too often, so I'm still going to just put it away. I might start playing around with it, though. Wild Child, I've just decided they're a bit um, chunky glitter, so I'm going to put that away. Um, and then this Elf Mad for Matte, I'm going to put away. I was just watching it, and I just don't know the pigmentation is as good as the first Mad for Matte palette. So this is the Summer Breeze one. Um, I really, really liked the first one, but I don't think this one is as good. But I still need to play around with it and see. But I'm going to put it away for now and pull it out at another, another time. So here's what we're ended up with, and I'm really happy with how this worked out. Um, so... Now we've got this drawer. Um, I've got my lipsticks here, and then I've got the bigger palettes back here. My two smaller um, toothpaste, the peanut butter, and then the honey. Um, you know, my Milani's, my drugstore, like Milani and um, CoverGirl are right here. And then I've just got these all laid out perfectly. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. It's much, much better. And then... Now I have space for primers. Um, I was going to put the Cover FX in my closet, but then I opened it, and I realized that I did try it. So I'm like, crap. I have way too many um, um, primers in rotation, so I have got to figure this out and figure out what I'm reaching for and start decluttering some stuff. I really do. It, there's no doubt about it. Um, I got my Laura Lee brushes here, I've got my Morphe brushes here, my color switch, and my sponges, and then I've got all of my setting sprays and stuff back here that I want to keep out. Um, so I think that it looks so much better, and I did decide, by the way, the collabs, they are sealed. So definitely going to put them in my closet so I don't unseal them and start reaching for them because... Um, you know, you can only use so many. Like on the back of the products, there's always like a, a thing on there. Like this one is, once you've opened it, it lasts 24 months. Um, this hard candy stick, I use on my face all the time. It's like a cooling priming stick. I love this thing. Um, I don't know what its life is. It doesn't say in here. But anyways, these things all have a life. And, oh wow, this one is a 36 month life. So that's pretty good. And I do love the Nivea Men. I pulled that one down. Um, and then I had other primers um, that were in my top drawer there that I pulled down and was able to fit in this drawer as well. One of them is a Mally, which this one's got to be going bad. I don't know. i got to look it up. My Wet n Wild and then Rimmel Fix Imperfect, which I had opened already. So um, that's where I'm at 
love it. I feel like I have much more space and it's a more manageable amount here. So I am totally thrilled with this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go put all these in my closet because that is a lot of palettes. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.